Hello everybody and welcome you're watching Henry's Watches. We're going to do a full review of the Casio Day Date. It actually has a completely different name and I'm aware of that but it is actually pretty hard to pronounce. So I'll keep it as Day Date and I'll edit in the real name of the watch and of course a link where you can buy this. So without further we do let's do a wrist check so i'm wearing my seiko 5 sports sea urchin today really great watch i'm gonna do a review and an unboxing after one and a half years so you can decide if you want this it's actually been scuffed pretty bad okay let's get on with the video so the casio day date i just had to get it i can't believe you can buy a day date watch that looks this classy for so so cheap so and if i say cheap it's really really cheap and it's dirty so this watch is picked up on eBay I believe for about fifty dollars forty dollars anyway it's 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 really cheap so a real bargain a bargain day date if you can uh, call that as you can see it has a really nice sunburst dial it has applied indices with some yeah you can see it there some death in it and has printed logos a day and a date complication but first let's go over the dimensions overall how big is it it's 38 mil in diameter it has a 44 point five lug to lug so it's actually rather compact it has a 20 mil lug width so it's a true strap monster if you can call it that way and has a 9 mil thickness so it's actually pretty slim um, so that makes this watch really easy to wear even with guys that have do have big wrists but also very small wrist, wrists um so about the strap so as i said 20 mil luck with um this is actually a pressed pressed bracelet so that's pretty shitty uh and it's really hard as you can see beneath my thumb uh, to adjust it so that's a bit of a pain in the ass you can also not make it flat so that's a shame uh, I always put them down this way so I don't scratch the sides um, it has a nasty pressed clasp uh, it isn't that bad but it also ha hasn't got any security a good thing is the micro adjust I was putting on the last bit so I can always make it longer if I have sway wrists you don't need much but a easy needle to put it in a different hole um, so the bracelet um, it is something you have to keep in mind for 40 bu bucks you don't get a fancy bracelet that has uh, solid end links and stuff so bear that in mind um so about the head itself it has a fixed bezel so as you can see it it, it isn't even it's just the the here yeah, um it's actually you, you can move it you can you can't even um you can't even replace it for a fluted bezel if you want to it's just that smooth uh, smooth bezel and you can uh, gonna keep it forever unfortunately uh, we got a mineral crystal 
uh, not the best on the market, but it's gonna do the job regardless. Um, I couldn't find any information on the actually case material, but I believe it's 316L stainless steel. Um, it has Casio's in-house 5336 module, so it gives you a day and a date complication. Um, what makes this the poor man's day date? Um, about weight, this one weighs in just under 90 grams, 88 to be precise, and without the bracelet, so the head only weighs 40 grams, so it's actually pretty easy to wear. So if I put it on my wrist, for your reference I have a 6.9 inch wrist, so a bit smaller than average, but not like really thin and you can see it's just really easy to wear it lays pretty flat on my wrist and the bracelet it isn't too bad but it is a hair nipper so keep in mind you're gonna be pulling hairs out of this one um, as you can see those indices are really nice we also have 60 15, 30, and 45. It would have been nice in my, in my opinion to have uh, Roman numerals on those places. This looks a bit um, modern for the watch, but I don't mind it at all for this price. You can already see a hair that has been caught, unfortunately. Um, so what do I like and what do I not like about this watch? So there we go. Okay. I do like the overall looks. It just looks way better than the price suggests it does. Um, and the main thing I don't like is the bracelet. The bracelet is actually pretty shitty. It, you can also see it in the in the overall specs. It's just very light, flimsy. Um, I don't know how long it's gonna last, but maybe a nice brown suede swipe, uh, strap is gonna solve it for me, long term. Um, so those are the main things I like and don't like. Uh, after a week of wearing, I actually found it pretty comfortable. Uh, even though it's light, it's not too light, so it's just easy to wear. And this is actually a pretty good uh, poor man's bargain uh, day date and also a really good watch for people who are just getting into the hobby um, so that was it um, hit like subscribe uh, check out my Instagram as well I'll put a link in the description I'll put uh, I'll also put a link in the description of the watch itself um, so you can buy it for yourself if you want to so that was it uh, i hope you can enjoy the rest of the day and goodbye